I'm Montana Dana, and on this episode of Girl vs. Van, I remove all the wall paneling and get it ready for insulation. I decided to put in foam board, cover it up with Reflectix, and I rode the struggle bus the whole way through. So I got my apartment packed up, I sold a bunch of stuff. Now I have seven days to build a sprinter van. Today is day one working on the van. I have a literal week, seven days to get my van livable. I have three goals for today and they are ambitious, but I'm gonna try and do it. I'm gonna remove the wall paneling and put in insulation in the wall and the ceiling. Number two, I'm gonna install the skylight. And number three, I'm gonna put up the shiplap siding and the wood slats on the ceiling. Is that too much for one day? I think that's too much for one day. Oh, you sweet, sweet, stupid girl. But we're gonna try it. I got some foam board and I have some Reflectix upstairs. We're going to do this first though. My van has these panels which I'm actually going to put back on. I'm going to glue the shiplap to the panels. I'll use some self-tapping screws. That's the plan anyway. So every once in a while I'll be able to screw into the wall. By the way, I love driving this thing. It's so fun. The windshield is gigantic. Like you get all the views. Plus you can see over everybody in front of you, which is so nice. Cause I used to drive a mini Prius and you have to do the swerve to see if there's a car in front of the car in front of you. Like if there's any SUV in front of you, you can't see anything. Love this. It's spacious. It's fun to drive. It's diesel. I don't know. Am I a lesbian? I always liked driving my dad's truck growing up. So this kind of reminds me of that. It's fun. Anyway, let's go to Lowe's. Now the reason I got this smaller Sprinter van as opposed to a bigger Sprinter van or an actual RV is that you can park it anywhere. Trader Joe's, Target, in the middle of a palm desert. But this van is very stealthy and you can park it anywhere. You kinda have to do an Austin Powers to get into said spot, but it still fits. I mean, it fits. Pull up till you feel a little beep, a little bump, a little bumperoo, a little bumperoo. We're gonna be taking a lot of trips to Lowe's today. I still haven't decided if I want to put studs in the walls or not. I feel like the shiplap will stay up much better. The shiplap is pretty much particle board, so it's pretty lightweight. I'm just praying liquid nails is gonna to stick to this vinyl plastic. Whatever we got going here. So I'm gonna go home, take these off, put in the insulation, and then reassess. Alright, here we go. off. It's really happening. These are a little different. These are just like a flathead screwdriver type of thing. Does it just unscrew? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Should we pop one off and see? I think it just pops out. Maybe? Oh, they just pop off. All right. These, I don't, I don't know how these work. Like every panel is different. I don't know why they couldn't just do the same thing with each one, but okay. That's easy enough. Whoa, a little, little electricity down here, a little bit. My fingers hurt. My fingers are getting a little bit raw from pulling these out of the wall, so I found my weightlifting glove. Going to use this to pull out these things now. I've noticed it's a little faster too if I loosen all of them first and then pull them all out. So this van already has a little bit of insulation slash soundproofing. At least that's what the guy at the dealership told me. And I just noticed some of those strips down here as well, which is awesome. Before I remove those panels, I'm gonna actually put the insulation in on this side and then scooch all this stuff over. I live in an apartment building. I don't have a garage and I just kind of have to work with the space I have. So all I'm doing is getting a rough guesstimate on the size of the open slots over there is seven by 20, I think. The hardest part of this so far is trying to film everything, so. This is annoying. I'm gonna need a bigger one. This is ridiculous. 
My dream someday is to build a real sprinter van with a carpenter, electrician, and I could be the helper. I've got a good work ethic, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Going to need, definitely gonna need a bigger knife. I already packed all my kitchen knives, so. Yeah, don't, don't use scissors. We don't do that. I guess we're gluing this into the wall now. How do you work this thing? How that did something. Do I cut off the tip? What do I do? I don't know. This goes in here, I know that. This is my first time using a caulking gun. Are you just supposed to know how to do this? I guess so. Yeah. Call dad. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Can I just brag on my dad a little bit here? So he built our three homes growing up. So I kind of saw him doing construction stuff. I helped him here and there. So it gave me this false confidence in myself that I could build something all on my own. I am insulating my van. Oh. And I was wondering, I've never used a caulking gun. Do you just cut the tip off the caulk thing? I've got the caulk thing loaded into the gun. Some caulking guns have a place where you can just insert the tip, like it's up by the handle you need to squeeze. Yeah. And it'll It'll cut it, or oh. you can just use a, a sharp knife. Nice. Or a razor knife or something. Okay, maybe I'll just cut it with scissors. Let's see. Ooh, did it work? Oh my god, it's working. <gasps> it's working. Oh my god, I'm excited. Have you ever used liquid nails? Sure. That's what I'm using. I hope it works. But it's used to metal, but probably just not open flames. We don't plan on it open flames today. That's going to start the house up there. It is? Liquid nails. Really? Yeah. My dad was building the house they live in now, and it's absolutely gorgeous, but when it was almost done framing, it actually caught on fire and burnt to the ground. And I learned today that the fire was caused by liquid nails and a little propane heater. I guess the propane heater blew over in the wind, caught some liquid nails on fire, and the whole thing went up in flames. But I have to give some mad props to my dad because he was out there the next day cleaning it up, rebuilt that house, and it was even more beautiful than the one he originally started building. They added a couple of rooms upstairs. Very proud to have such a resilient role model in my life. Well, sounds like you're busy. Call me if you run anything else. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure there will be other things. <laughs> no clue what I'm doing, but that's okay. It's part of the fun, right? That's right. Huh. Change of plans. Okay, my dad got me this little girly mini Leatherman probably when I was like 14 or 15 for Christmas. <laughs> Can't even tell you how many times I've used this little thing. It's just big enough to cut the foam board. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Yeah, don't use the Swiss Army knife for this. Okay, I'm just gonna take way too long. Second change of plans. Oh, shit. Oh, that's... I forgot about that. Okay, I just need to go buy a bigger knife. I'm naturally a blonde. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just trying not to spend any more money. You guys, I have a budget. I'm not about to go buy a knife and I have like 50 of them. I wonder, this is probably not the most safe. I wonder if I can just take this off. No, probably not, huh? <laughs> Oh, you sweet, sweet, stupid girl. Guys, there has got to be a better way to do this. My dad used to have this like steaming hot piece of metal. You would like just put this in and I would like cut it so smooth. I don't have those tools. I don't know what I'm doing. Now I forgot my measurements. Oh, where's my tape measure? This is a scene. I'll be back with you when I have this finished. So eventually I put the foam down on the floor, used the original blade. Then I was able to break apart the foam board. So all was good. Going. Did you get it all soundproofed? Yeah, trying, you know. Are you going to be the nomad? Yeah, I am for a while. Oh, that's cool. My lease just came to an end and sold my car and a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to go travel. Very cool. Like okay. nomad land. Yeah, exactly. Except for it's not out of necessity and more just for fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's but, very cool. Thanks. It's working way better now that I'm cutting it into smaller chunks. Then I can use my body weight and actually get through the full board. I'm not worried about ruining this flooring because I'm going to be covering it. That's working a little bit better. See, I may not know what I'm doing, but I'm learning things. Now I know how to cut foam board. We got this one in, we got that one in. Just working on the little triangle. All right, we got all the pink insulation in. Now it's time for Reflectix. I'm gonna put Reflectix over the top of that and tape it off with some Reflectix tape just to seal everything in. There's a space for a window here, so I'm just going to do Reflectix here. It's not wide enough to put in the insulation. That way we can still put the panels back on over the top. I just need to make sure I'm not covering the holes so I can put it back in. I 
was gonna put spray foam in here, but I wanna leave these open because I wanna do electrical later on. I'm gonna travel for a few months, and then if this is something that I absolutely love doing, I'm gonna put solar in, I'm gonna put in plumbing, and do all that fun stuff. But right now, I'm just doing kind of a basic ass bitch fan build. All right, I got the Reflectix on one of the panels. I'm gonna put the top back on this just to make sure everything's gonna fit. I don't wanna get everything done and then have the panels not go back in. So just gonna double check on that real quick. Gotta use these childbearing hips for something. asked more people for more help. I now realize. I have a hard time asking for help and also I just needed to get her done. I couldn't plan around people's schedules. I'm homeless in seven days. Gotta get this thing done. I hope I put that back on the correct way. I have to rewatch the video, see how this thing goes. Man, I'm glad I filmed this after to rewatch it. Nope, I did it wrong a second of time. Anna's hangry. She needs a sandwich. It's a little tinge windy. I'm removing one of the elements, which is the wind. Remove that. This is not a van tutorial build. Like, don't do what I do kind of thing. Look at what I'm doing and do the opposite of that and you'll have a really successful van build. Now we're on a hunt for a little black piece. Fun. I love this. All right. Well, I heard it drop. You just don't know where it went. I seriously can't figure out how to get this thing back. Is the right panel? I think so. Which way does it go? It's not working. Well, this goes here. I know that. I don't know. I thought I had to figure it out, but I don't have to figure it out. I just realized that I did have it right the second time, and there aren't holes along the top. It's these little square things that hold it on. Great. As long as I figured it out, I'm happy. Okay, let's try this again. Now the bolt is stripped. Cute. That one's in there. This van was built with a Black & Decker drill and a lot of determination. Looks pretty much like it did in the beginning, so I think it's gonna work. I guess we just keep putting up Reflectix. I've been intermittent fasting for over a year now, which I absolutely love for my health and my fitness goals. But I think I need a little glucose to the brain. Taking a break, it's 2.30. I don't think I'm gonna get everything done that I wanted to today, but I'm gonna keep going. I need to go get lunch, it's 2.30. And I'm not eating yet. So if you're wondering how to do this, what you do is you put the liquid nails onto the foam board. You place the foam board onto the van, like, so, boom shaka, it's in there, like a glove. Got the Reflectix on the top, now I'm gonna put the panel back up and just repeat everywhere. I don't know if I wanna put Reflectix over this. This isn't insulated very well, just because of the wires. I don't know. I don't want the wires rubbing on anything. It's gonna cause friction. These ones I'm not worried about because they're all like insulated, but this has exposed wire. It would take a lot of rubbing for this insulation to cause this any issues, but I think I'm gonna cut the insulation here a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna put this panel back on, call it a day. I don't know if I want Reflectix going in there. That'll be good enough. I'll put Reflectix up here. Eventually I want to get a window for right here. Here, the one that has the pop-out option on the bottom. Anyway, just gonna keep on putting up this aluminum foil. All right, 
it's almost 7 p.m. and I finished one side of the van. Definitely didn't get as much done as I thought I was going to today. I'm gonna go grab some dinner and I'm at least gonna start on the other side. I'm gonna cut myself off at 11 because I want to be rested for tomorrow so I can get up fresh, um, start again. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise because my friend Eric has a ladder that I'm gonna use because I have to get on the roof to put in the fan and I need an extension cord so I'm gonna do all that fun stuff tomorrow but I really want to finish the insulation tonight. This took about six hours to get half of the van done. Fingers crossed it'll be a little quicker this time around because I know what I'm doing. Figured out how to cut the foam board. You just cut it with the X-Acto knife and then snap it where your cut was and it's totally fine. I might bring my laptop and some fairy lights out later. We'll see. We are running out of daylight. I just went and grabbed my fairy lights but they're not very good so I might have to run to Ace Hardware. But I'm at least gonna get the panels off the walls and move all this stuff to the other side. I'm going strong till 11 o'clock, however much I can get done. <laughs> Now, we insulate. This is going quite a bit faster, actually. We'll see how much we can get done by the end of the night. This is another window, window, so it's just gonna be reflectix and reflectix. So I just have to put the pink stuff on the bottom and on the top. I cut my finger. I was cutting the tip off of the cock. I'll wait, I'll wait for your laughter. Yeah, I was cutting the tip off of this thing and I pinched my finger with my scissors. I didn't even cut it on anything cool. My freaking scissors cut it. Anyway, we get to work. I wanna get this done tonight. It was kind of fun. I got my fairy lights. I got a decaf coffee. I am good for the night. Gonna put on some slow jams. Keep slowing down and looking in the van. I'm kind of afraid of them, but really, I'm inside an ex murderer van. No one's gonna mess with me. Ooh, there's some pretty stars out tonight. I can't wait to get my skylight in. That's gonna be tomorrow. So I've been riding some fun things in caulk. Safe travels. That's going right up here. You know, just like a good, good luck omen. This one said love, safe travels. The penis is over here somewhere. It's 9 p.m. and I almost got all the insulation board in, but I ran out of liquid nails. Actually, I didn't run out, but I have a defective bottle. It's not working. And it's the one that pinched my finger. I don't know why it's not working, but... <laughs> Mother. I do know Lowe's and Ace Hardware are closed, so I'm just gonna shift gears and do all the Reflectix on the places that I can do Reflectix, then we'll pick back up tomorrow. It is quarter to 11, I got all the Reflectix on, so I'm gonna put on the wall panels and call it a night. Current situation current situation. I actually like hanging out in here. I'm gonna bring these little fairy lights with me on the road, just in case I run out of power. You never know. They brighten it up quite a bit in here. That was day one of the van build. If you want to see the rest of the series, make sure you subscribe. And then after that, we are heading all over the U.S. for a little adventure, so I hope you will join me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. We'll see you next time. Please send help.